Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Mike Parker. And I'm Captain Willie Dykes. Coming to you this week from the National Outdoor Show in Golden Hill, Maryland. And thank goodness for events like this, yeah. Mike. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to say so long to winter <laughs> and hello to spring. Well, the good news is spring's just a couple of weeks away, so we should have plenty to do then. But you know, before we put winter behind us officially, I did want to take a look back at one last waterfowl outing where, Willie, uh, the conditions were just about as challenging as the hunt itself. Hmm. It was the last week of Canada goose season in Delaware when I met up with a group of hunters okay, in Kent County, it. just outside of Smyrna. We got some pretty ugly weather here as far as driving conditions, but I think the, the ducks and the geese are gonna like it. On the morning of a mild nor'easter that left parts of Delmarva in a whiteout, by the time shooting time rolled around, we found ourselves spreading decoys in more than an inch of snow as a light rain continued to fall over our blind. Uh. <laughs> I guess we got a northeast storm coming in here and picked a, a great day to hunt some honkers, but quite a few honkers in the area, so hopefully we can keep the decoys dry enough and clean enough and, and shoot some today. And with conditions like this, you can only hope for the best. As these waterfowlers were doing theirs, putting their goey hunting calls to the test. This time of year it gets tough. You've hunted fields that have been hunted numerous times, and... Uh, you know, you do your best to get what you can get. With geese moving in and out of the fields around us, it wasn't long before the calling paid off. And a pair of Canada's finally gets close enough for Steve to make the call. Get him, get him. It was kind of off the corner and... And Steve said, pull up and shoot. And as soon as I pulled the gun, stuck it right through the grass. A piece of grass was laying right over the right over the barrel. So caught in the lake the first shot and just took the time on the second shot. But despite our early luck, the conditions proved ever challenging. The constant dampness persisting for hours, with geese occasionally getting closer. But we were walking a fine line between patience and waiting just a little too long. Past us all. We were anticipating a good hunt this morning with the weather. Uh, we did see quite a few birds here this morning, but we just couldn't get them to finish here. There's seven there. They were thinking hard. By morning's end, a limit of geese just wasn't going to be realistic. But braving some of Mother Nature's worst proved to be an adventure all its own. Oh, just hanging out with the guys, um, especially these other four guys with me. We have a good time together. Spending time with the blinds fun. Having a good time and good conversation makes it worth it. A bunch of guys that like to blow goose balls. <laughs> well, you know, Willie, it's always something, and that day it just happened to be the weather. I guess that's why they call it hunting. <laughs> well, Mike, the good news is the folks from Goey Hunting Calls gave us a pair of deluxe calls to give away. And earlier, back at the cabin, we drew a winner. All right, so Willie, let's go ahead and spin the barrel around and pick a winner. What we have up for grabs this week is the Goey Halloran Hen Duck Call. And the Gunner Goose Call, retail value for this matching set, black and camo, about 200 bucks. Pretty good prize. Willie, how's it looking there? Okay, we're ready to go, Mike. All right, we'll up. go ahead and pick a winner. Right off the top here, we have a postcard that says, uh, Maryland Blue Crabs, right. and your favorite and mine. And we say congratulations to C.A. Norhoff from Parsonsburg, Maryland. Congratulations, you won the set of Goey Hunting Calls. To enter to win future product giveaways featured on Outdoors Del Marva, send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Outdoors Del Marva, care of WBOC TV, 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. Coming up next on Outdoors Del Marva, spend time with an old friend. You won't want to miss this week's Scorchy's Corner Classic. But first, did you know? Canada geese remain in flocks all year round, except while nesting. Mating pairs break off for about a month and a half in the spring. Did You Know is sponsored by the Maryland Coastal Bays Program. Don't go anywhere. Outdoors Delmarva will be right back. 